New tonight at 11. Hopes are high and the jackpot keeps getting higher as the Powerball lottery grows to an estimated $630 million. People out all day buying tickets in hopes of winning the massive jackpot. Julia Hazel joins us now from the control room with more. Julia. Good evening, Jennifer. That's right. It's another big night for people buying more tickets and for those storefront owners increasing in sales from those people that come in. People are busy this week buying Powerball tickets, taking their chance to win an estimated $630 million. People say they have big plans if they're the lucky winner. I just want to help the family out because I got a feeling I'm going to win. I'm the winner. <laughs> If I want all of that money, I'd cry. <laughs> and then I'd pay, I'd pay off debts, my debts, my family's debts, you know. You know, like every American dream, be rich, you know. <laughs> Go out and play, travel, you know. While some people are excited about the amount of money, others think it might be too much for one person. At a certain point, I think it should be divided. Multiple winners, I don't think anybody needs a half a billion dollars. So that'd be nice to give a lot of people money, not just one person. People are buying the tickets at places such as Kelly's Corner and Country Fair. Workers at both places say they have seen an increase of customers this week and more so with the increase of money in the Powerball. It's been very busy. The Powerball, is, a lot of people are getting the Powerball. I've been with Country Fair for like 26 years and I've never seen it that busy for the Powerball. Never. Well, this week, probably a thousand customers, I would say. Yeah, we, we do a whole lot of lottery. Of all the plans that people have, if they win, most said that they would donate some of the money to local charities.